Um, look, obviously with my dad being a trainer, um, I grew up always around the stable and um, I remember being at school, I was always looking at the uh, form guide and, and doing all that sort of stuff and weekends and holidays in the yard. So look, I was never, never pushed into it as per se, but I, I, I never wanted to do anything else. So I'm very happy to be where I am today. You know, last season we had a really good year. We had six group one winners, um, highlighted by Sunlight, who's uh, on, on track for the Everest at the moment. Uh, but she won three Group 1s and a very exciting sprinter. We're, we're very lucky to have a private um, facility which just helps to, um, you know, we're not here on a racetrack all the time. We've, we're out in the country in the Brossa Valley and, um, you know, it's a, it's a very prestigious property. Um, there's been a lot of Group 1 winners come off it over the time from C.S. Hayes and David and Peter and, and now us. So, um, you know, we, we get to, we're out in the hills, there's day paddocks and, and just no hustle bustle. Um, and then we also have got a yard at Flemington which is the um, other side of the spectrum and it's a really good tool to be able to send young horses over to Flemington and get them to grow up a little bit but um, always nice to be able to bring them back to, to uh, the Brossa Valley and uh, they just seem to thrive there. When you become an owner with McAvoy Mitchell Racing um, you get weekly voice updates from either Tony or myself and uh, we try and get a lot of vision out there and uh, obviously owners can come out and see their horses at any time, um, any morning or any day and look, we, we really pride ourselves on our communication. Um, you know, we've got a lot of owners from all over the world, not just uh, South Australia or Australia. So communication is key and, um, you know, the, the service we, we try and try to give is, is very important.